Hello student, welcome to the solution and discussion of physics paper JE Advance 2014. We are here to discuss paper 2 and the code I have is code 0. Let's begin. The first question that we have is from modern physics and it's from X-ray. It says lambda copper is the wavelength of K alpha X-ray of copper and lambda MO that would be for molybdenum is the wavelength of K alpha X-ray Z is given. Then we have to find lambda copper by lambda molybdenum very close to. Let's see 1 by lambda is R Z minus 1 whole square into 1 by 1 square minus 1 by 2 square. That would be the wavelength for K alpha. Now you could see be it copper be it molybdenum in both the situation this thing is same this thing is same. So quite obviously you would see that lambda copper by lambda molybdenum is Z minus 1 whole square so that would be 41 square by 28 square and this thing comes out to be very close to 2.14. Now we'll see question number 2. Okay, question number 2 is again from modern physics and it's from photoelectric effect. Metal surface is illuminated by light of wavelengths 248 nanometer and 310. So, lambda 1 is given as 248 nanometer and lambda 2 as 310 nanometer. The maximum speed of the photoelectrons emitted are U1 and U2 and the ratio is also given. And for simplicity of calculation, the value of H is given. We got to find the work function of the metal means the same metal irradiated by two different light obviously the photoelectrons emitted would also be having different velocity and this is the situation quite easily one half m u square is h c by lambda minus work function case one u one you could see the speed of emitted electron is different for different wavelength but the metal is same so work function would be same likewise one half m u2 square h c by lambda 2 minus of work function and from this when you calculate work function you will get 3.7 electron volt. Now let us move to question number 3. Question number 3 is taken from heat and it is from heat exchange. A spherical black body is given and this is being incident by parallel radiation of intensity this much. The surrounding temperature is 300 Kelvin and the question says taking energy exchange only via radiation we need the steady state temperature of the body. Quite obviously the body is receiving power via two means through the intensity and through the temperature of surrounding and it loses due to its own temperature. So if it is steady state rate of energy gain is rate of energy loss. So the gain part 912 into pi r square by using area projection plus perfectly black body so emissivity is 1 sigma e surrounding temperature 300 raised to the power 4 these are the two means by which it is gaining and the loss by virtue of its own temperature sigma 4 pi r square temperature raised to the power 4 stiffens constant 5.67 10 raised to the power minus 8 on unsolving, you will get option number A. Now we will move to question number 4.
Question number four is from meter bridge. You could see the standard figure, unknown resistance, this side, it's 90 ohm, and the length is 40.0 cm. That means this length is 60 cm because it's a meter bridge. We need to calculate the unknown resistance with the error limit. First of all, let me calculate the unknown resistance. Then I get R by 40 is 90 by 60. And quite obviously, this will give us R is equal to 60 ohm. But then we need to calculate the error. So this will be taken as x. So I'll have r by x is 90 by 100 minus x. And that gives us r equals to 90 x by 100 minus x. Then that will give me delta r by r is equal to delta x by x plus delta 100 minus x by 100 minus x. Plugging all the values, x as 40 and the value of delta x as 0 0.1, but there one more point of error may occur. Delta r by r is delta x by x and delta of 100, that's 0. But minus delta x has to be interpreted as plus delta x by 100 minus x because we are finding the maximum possible error. And in that situation, when you calculate, you'll be getting 0 0.25 ohm. So it will have correct option as option number C. Now let's move to question number 5. Question number 5 is from mechanics. There is a smooth wire and a bead will be sliding along the wire. The question is, the bead is released near the top, so it starts almost with zero velocity and it slides from A to B. The force it applies on the wire is, quite obviously, this is going to apply a force normal reaction. You can see by experience that as it moves, initially this can be inspired from this particular numerical that when a block is there and it moves till angle cos theta equals to 2 by 3, it slides and then it loses the contact. So here till angle cos theta 2 by 3, it will be there then losing contact means it would fly away. So the situation would be this. So in that situation, you could very easily see that initially the bead gets normal reaction up, but the bead would be reciprocated by the force down. And later on, quite obviously, the direction of the force would be opposite. So you could see that Initially, the force on the wire would be radially inward and then the force would be radially outward. So that will go for option number D. Now we'll go to question number 6.